It's him. It's him. How can you be sure with all this thunder and lightning? Spring, isn't it? He always comes home in the spring. Listen. I don't know. I think it's still just a storm. No, no. It's him, Joe. I know it's him. I'll prove it to you. Listen. Listen. Sam Hill comes home. Not a sound. Hey, Pa, you think all those stories we hear about Sam are true? No. Never heard for sure they weren't. Well, they ain't. Somebody's got an awful lot of explaining to do to me. For example, that, that tree up there, now. What, what do you call it? A uh, cantaloupe tree. Yeah, yeah. Now, how does that cantaloupe tree grow up there all by itself when the only other place in the whole world it grows is in the tropics? Now, how come? Well... Sam says there's a lot of warmth in that ground. a little early this year, aren't you, Sam? Sergeant Hathaway says he heard you coming. What are you doing here, Tyson? Colonel Tyson, sir, if you please. What do you want? Don't suppose you've changed your mind about selling me this land? That's pretty good supposing. Just as stubborn as she was. But not near as polite. Now, you ride off this land and you take your private army with you. You're a fool, Sam. 
You only visit this place once a year. It's a waste of good pasture land. Pasture land? Is that all it means to you? Rachel's dead. I want this land. Only the land. My mother wouldn't have you when she was alive. You're not going to get her now. Perhaps the real owner of this land will have something to say about that. You're talking to the real owner. I'm talking to his son. Well, my father's dead. Not so dead that he can't write letters. John Henry Hill. Isn't that his name? That was his name. Well, John Henry Hill's arriving in Virginia City tomorrow. Like Lazarus rising from the grave. You going to have the courage to meet him? My mother told me he died. When I was 12 years old, she got a letter from a shipmate of his. Said he'd been washed overboard in a storm in the South Seas, someplace in the Macassar Straits. Hey, now look, I, I didn't say it was. No, 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 we got a bet. Come on. All right. Hey, Sam, tell little Joe about the time you pulled that 20 mule team going up Geiger Pass. Tell him. And now what about it, Sam? Is that the truth or not? Well, little Joe, it wasn't really a 20 mule team. There wasn't more than half a dozen, and those mules weren't really pulling. Yeah. See, what did I tell you? You talking to Sam Hill? Oh, Sam, Sam, don't do that now. We got a bed waiting for you inside. Well, thanks, Ben. It's going on 18 years since I slept under a roof. Besides, I, I want to finish this up so I can go to Virginia City tomorrow. Well, I'm for bed. You come on, boys? No, we'll hang around here for a while, Paul. Yeah, we want to jaw with Sam for a little bit. Good night. Good night, Sam. Good night, Good night Paul. Man. Good night, Paul. Hey, Sam, I guess you're pretty happy about seeing your pa after all these years. Yeah, sure am. Okay, Hoss, come on out here. Hey, Sam. How'd you make him do that? Well, I asked him to. He knows what I want. Oh. Sure, he remembers me from last year. We got to be real good friends. Sam, I raised that horse from... Just a colt. He don't remember nothing from day to day except where the oat bin's at. Yeah, seems to me like he's a real smart animal. Also, will you hand me that hammer? Thing you are. He's been at it all night. Yeah. yeah he's sun up in about an hour. He hasn't stopped once. Joe. Mm hmm. Maybe he ain't got sleep. One time. High up in the mountains, I heard some trappers talking about a man that never had to sleep. You reckon they could have been talking about Sam Hill? <laughs> pa. 
Oh, you up too? Well, I'm sure not sleepwalking. The way he loves horses. Loves to be near him, work around him. I guess every man has his own way of dealing with worry. Maybe Sam's just to work his away. Worry? Well, Paul, what in the tarnation could Sam Hill have to worry about? I think he's afraid to meet his father. Now, why would a man be afraid to meet his own father? Well, I think I'd do it for you if, uh, if someone you hadn't seen since you were a baby. Someone you'd given up for dead. Suddenly would have walked in one day and announced to you that he was your father. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. If he wasn't you, he'd get the dang to throw it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. I, I don't know about Sam Hill, but we've got to get some sleep or we won't get any work done tomorrow. Joe? Hmm? I'll bet you that story I heard up the mountains from them trappers was true. Sleepy? There are ways of resting the brain without closing the eyes, little Joe. Yeah, but what about the body? The brain takes care of the body, huh? Ain't you learned that yet? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see you over the silver dollar, Sam. In a bit. Thanks. Uh, something I got to do alone. That burn Joe. Sometimes that man does confound me. Mm -hmm. Now, just then he acted like just a plain, ordinary, flesh and blood human being. Yeah. Well, sometimes he don't. Room twenty-two, the bridal suite. The what? Mr. Hill insisted on the best. Right up the stairs. Thank you. Mr. Hill? Mr. Hill? Percy, give us a couple down there. Well, some little I really like you, and that's the truth. I declare, if that ain't just about the sweetest thing I've ever had said to me. You don't hardly hear that kind of talk no more. Well, honey, I'm just getting tuned up while I get the whole band playing. Uh, but let's don't let ourselves get too serious right off. You know, you know what I mean. 
Well, no, honey, I don't know what you mean. Well, I am a year or two older than you are. Oh, honey, what's that got to do with it? To do with what? Well, to do with what we were talking about. And what was that, little Joe? Honey, sir, hmm? Well, you know what I mean. You just heard the school bell, sonny. Don't want to be late, do you? Excuse me, ma'am. You bear a striking resemblance to a woman I met on my travels through the Orient. A Balinese princess she was. Are you sure you don't have royal blood in your veins? Well, I don't hardly think so. I'm from Texas. Now, look, mister, I'd like... Sonny, would you get us another glass, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, the similarity is remarkable. However, this lady was somewhat smaller than you. As a matter of fact, she only stood about three feet tall. You wouldn't think a little woman like that could make a man happy. This little... Come on, old man, I can't fight you. I'd advise against it, but you started this. Now, what are you going to do? You nut. Now, let's see, where was I? Boy, it distracted me. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I just walked into Africa. They came out with a diamond big as a camel's eye. Hey, give me a beer, will you, Percy? Looks like he's going to beat your time, little brother. Did you get a load of that old goat saying he wanted to fight me? I him once, I'd break him in two. Another bottle of champagne, innkeeper. Hey, Sonny, you wouldn't have an extra five dollars in your wallet, would you? I wouldn't have an extra what? I find myself temporarily short of funds. I'd like to buy the young lady another drink. <laughs> well, and you'd like me to pay for it, huh? I've just come to town. You're the only friend I got. Wait a minute, old-timer. Who's gonna pay for this one? Uh, I'll pay for it first thing in the morning. Put it on my bill. Oh, no! You're not a very good judge of character, my man. I'm coming into a sum of money. Give me back that bottle. Oh, not let finish it. All right, old-timer. That's the way you want it. Sam, did you find your ball? Sleep in the deep. Dreams sinning ways in other days. I think I just did. Mr. Hill? Come on, Mr. Hill. We're going home. Sneaking up on a man when he's had a few drinks and carting him off the middle of nowhere. And I'll tell you what.
must be my son, Sam. When did she die? 18 years ago. That long? How? What happened? I never did find out. Some folks say Indians, some say lightning. Nobody knows for sure. I seen the smoke from a ways off, but by the time I got here, everything was all over. I buried her myself under the candle in tree. Just you? Mm -hmm. How old were you at the time? I was 14. I said of that tree. I know. It's almost a joke. Never thought it'd grow here. She had a way of making things grow. If you are any samples, she sure did. Why didn't you ever come back to her? Because uh, of no account, I guess. That ain't much of an excuse. That's the only one I got. I loved your ma, Sam. A lot, an awful lot. But I got it into my head that there was a pot of gold waiting for me somewhere at the end of a rainbow. If I just keep looking hard enough for it. Still looking. Well, did you come back to see her or to claim the land? This place? Mm -hmm. It's not mine. It's yours now, Rachel's. There was some talk around here that you come to sell it. Oh, I did get a letter from some fella hereabouts. Said he was interested in it. I couldn't sell this place. This is hallowed ground. I'm glad you feel that way about it. I mean, about not selling the place. Not for all the money in the world. That's good. I should have known. Now, there's just one thing that still uh, kind of puzzles me. What would that be, Sam? Well, it's been a long time since we last seen each other, and uh, I don't know exactly what to call you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Most people call me John Henry or J.H. I've even known some to call me seldom sober. Doesn't make any difference, whichever one suits you. Yeah, well, I'd like to call you Pa. Sure, Sam. That'd be fine. Sure you want to? I want to, Pa. <laughs> Wish I had a little time to spruce up before we met. <laughs> I bet you could use a hot bath, huh? Yeah, sure could. Didn't know it was standing on the windward side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some good solid food for change, huh? Sure sounds good, Sam. Well, then come on. I ain't dressed fitting to meet proper folks. No, now, don't you mind. I got some friends nearby that they don't care how a man dresses. You sure they won't object a couple of extra miles for dinner? Mind, wait till we get to the Ponderosa. You're going to see a feed like you ain't never seen in your life. Now, don't you be too sure. I remember once down the Fiji Islands, I was guest of honor at this wedding feast. It lasted for 40 days and 40 nights. I ate so much roast pig and stuffed hummingbird well, tongues. Well, and come on, Pa. You can tell me on the way in the wagon. Come on. Straight and stop asking so many questions. Well, now that you're back, Mr. Hill, what are your plans? You think you're gonna stay? Oh, I reckon that's up to Sam here. I guess we can figure out something. You ever shot a horse? Shot a horse, never even pointed a gun at one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, close that door. Where were you raised? In a bar? Oh, it's you, Mr. Cartwright. <laughs> Who's this? Well, this is my youngest son, Joseph. What do you do? Raise them in litters around here? <laughs> Over to shake hands with you, son, but I just give you a fistful of this sheep dip. Ah, uh, that's all right. I think we've met. That's strange. 
I don't recollect seeing your face before. A silver dollar. Silver what? A silver dollar. That's a saloon in Virginia City. Oh, yeah, in Virginia City. You know, I don't remember a thing that happened in Virginia City. Did I say or do anything? If, if I borrowed any money off of you, you don't need to worry. I'll pay it back. Well, you can forget it, Mr. Hill. Little Joe wasn't about to loan you no money. You there too, Hoss? From beginning to end. <laughs> you ain't got a drink yesterday. You should have been with me in St. Petersburg. This Russian Cossack captain, he, he bet me I couldn't drink a helmet full of vodka. It's one of them big helmets with, with a big spike on the top of it. Uh, I thought that was the kind that was only worn by uh, German officers. Uh, George, you're right. Come think of it, this fella did speak Russian with a German accent. Must have been a spy. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, anyway... Shut your mouth, Pa. What? You get it full of water. <laughs> well, now, that makes it official. You are the legal owner of the property. Duly recorded and filed. Thank you, Mr. Willis. You've been very helpful. Any time, Colonel. Good day, sir. Kind of late. Folks around here get used to getting up with the sun. Oh, Sam, don't let that worry. We can all afford to sleep in a little tomorrow. No, no, Sam's right. We better go. You boys can hear me shoot off my mouth anytime. Mr. Hill, there's one story you gotta tell. Now, what story was that, Horace? It's about that tree you gave Sam's mall. What what was the name of it? Uh, the uh, the candlenut tree. Yeah, the candlenut tree. You'd be surprised how many folks come up here year after year from miles around just to look at that tree sitting up there on the hill, blooming the year around. If you think that's something, you should hear what happened to me in Mozambique. There was this uh, coconut palm, about 200 feet tall. 200 feet? Well, give or take an inch or two, son. Uh, Mr. Hill, I really don't think you understand about the candlenut tree. You see, with the kind of weather we have out here, that, that tree should have died more times than we can count. Uh, what with the rain and frost, sleet, snow. We get maybe 40 feet of snow up here in the Sierra. But up on that hill, up on that hill, the grass is green the year round. That candlenut tree just seems to get taller and prettier all the time. Seems like nothing in the world can stop it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty wonderful. But let me finish telling you about this big coconut tree. Hello. Oh. Seems we have visitors. Tyson, may I come in, sir? Mr. Hill, you completed your part of the bargain. I'm completing mine. Here's your money. I don't know what you're talking about. You know well enough. Tyson, I don't know what you're up to, but if this is another one of your tricks... Uh, Mr. Tyson, I think it might be better if you were to leave now. It must be some kind of mistake, Colonel. This ain't my money. I'll be happy to leave, now that my business transaction is over. And that money, Mr. Hill, is full payment for the land you deeded over to me last night. Good evening, sir. 
You're lying. He didn't sell you anything. Didn't he? Why don't you check the territorial land office? You'll find there's a fully documented, signed and witnessed deed. And one more thing. Don't you ever set foot on that land again. Sam, I didn't do it. I just want the truth. I'm telling the truth. Well, I wouldn't do a thing like that. How can you be so sure? You were so drunk you couldn't remember little Joe, you couldn't remember Hoss. What's the last thing you do remember? I don't know. I, I couldn't do a thing like that. Could I? Old man, did you come back here after all these years just to sell my mother's grave? Now, hold on, Sam. All we've got to go on so far is Tyson's word. Now, we'll ride into the land office and see for ourselves. You can do that if you want to, Ben. I'm going home. Nobody's taking that land away from me. Hoss, Joe, we're going to Virginia City. Adam, you'll have to take care of that timber transaction with Mr. Richards in the morning. Mr. Hill, you'd better come along with us. Willis, it was filed today. Well, that don't make it any easier to find. There are certain ways to cross-file these transactions. That's the way it's done. Now, oh, here it is. Now, this document here by... I didn't sign it, did I? Did I, Mr. Cartwright? Sign it. I couldn't have. Yeah. Write your signature. What? What do you say? I said, write your signature. Oh, sure. Sure, Mr. Carter. I signed that paper. I signed that paper, Mr. Cartwright. I don't remember doing it, but. I know I did. How am I going to face my boy? How? I don't know. Well, now that that's settled, can I go back? Nothing to is settled. Horse, go find the sheriff. We'll ride out and make sure that Tyson doesn't set foot in Sam's land until we can prove that this paper isn't worth the, the paper it's written on. You coming? Oh, I don't guess I will. Better be moving on. Mr. Hill? I can tell you what to do. 
But I will tell you this. If you don't face up to Sam, you'll be doing as much harm to him as to yourself. I know it, Mr. Cartwright. I know it. Men like you can do it. Sam can do it. I just can't. I don't know why. I just can't. You ride on back to the Ponderosa with Joe and us and I will go with the sheriff. Tell Sam. Thank you, Mr. Curry. you off this land. Are you going? Or do I have to throw you off? All right, sir, you give me no choice. Yes, help! Throw him off my land. Do you hear? That's an order. You're just like she was. Stubborn, independent, refusing to bend to my will. Just like her, Tyson. Colonel, do you hear? You call me Colonel Tyson. You're not Colonel, you're a fake. Like that hired army of yours. How could you expect my mother to even look at you? You're not even a man. Hill? You're just a shell, filling an empty uniform. I don't want to kill you. I didn't want to kill her. What's happening? The earth's moving. What's causing it? That's what makes that tree grow where it shouldn't. Where everybody said it didn't have a chance. That's what keeps the snow off my mother's grave, even in the deep of winter. And that, Tyson, is what will keep you from ever taking this place. I didn't. I didn't. She wasn't supposed to be in the house. I never wanted to kill anyone. Ever. Why? Why did you do it? I did it for her. I wanted her. Don't you see? With the house gone, she would have had to come to me. Not ever. You know that. Oh, yes, she would have. Not for me, perhaps, but for you. So you'd have a home. It was always you she was thinking of. And I wanted her. But... It was an accident she was in the house. It, it, it was an accident. No. Please, don't, don't kill me. Sam. Sam, we heard. You know what to say. There's nothing to say, Ben. Paul, it's, it's hard to believe. By all rights, that, that hot spring ought to washed away that hillside a long time ago. Yeah. I guess that spring just wanted to stay underground and keep that earth warm. Yeah, I reckon so. It'll take a heap of legal 
doing to straighten this mess out in the books, but I'll guarantee you that nobody will ever take this piece of property away from Sam. I guess when the story of what happened here tonight gets around, nobody's ever going to try. Come on, Tyson. suppose he'll ever be able to tell you himself but your father really didn't know what he'd done I know Ben I know Thank you, Ben. Bye, Sam. See you next spring, Sam. We'll be listening for you this time, Sam. Yeah, this time we'll know it's you coming. Well, so long, boys. Well, old man, you coming? You mean a can? You mean a can, Sam? I've got my choice. You're my pa, ain't you? I'm stuck with you. Somebody's got to take care of this. Chuck! I take care of myself. Maybe you ain't heard about my travels. No, but I got a feeling I'm going to. <laughs> you know, we got to stop that hotel there in Virginia City. A little matter of a bill I got to pay. And uh, I want to pick up my stuff, too. Oh, if you think I'm going to load down this wagon with all that junk. Eh, well, I guess it don't amount to much. There's one thing I want to get, though. I ain't never been without your ma's picture. We'll get it, Pa. Yeah. Tired of honky tonk women. I'm tired of traveling around. I'm tired of Susie and Curly and Kate. I'm thinking of settling down. Give me a girl who'll be kind to my dog and teach my kids how to pray. John Henry! Come on, Jackass! Oh, man, who is this? We don't really know. Call him Billy Joe. John Henry, I must have walked a thousand miles following you. How come you ran off and left me way back in Carson City? Yeah, I know there's something I forgot. He's been tailing me ever since he was six or seven years old, I reckon. My ma told me, never let you out of my sight. But sure is a hard job keeping up with you. Yeah, see exactly which one was your ma, Billy Joe. He ain't done the amount to much, but I can't seem to shake him. He can play that guitar. He makes up the prettiest songs you ever heard. All right, get on, boy. We've got a lot of iron to pound between now and spring. Hoss, will you tie that thing on the end of the wagon? Yeah. Come on, boy. I'll tell you just what my son here done. Uh, you see there this here enemy colonel. He had an army of about 7,000 men. They come a-charging up this hill with this couple of Get out. Sam, all he had was a hammer. He started swinging that hammer and them fellas started dropping like ten pins. Bullets were rattling off his chest like popcorn out of a skillet. Yeah, hey, cut out the racket. Huh? Sam Hill's going on. Sam Hill? Yeah, what? yeah, Paul, we're just telling him goodbye. 